Hello everybody, welcome to Late Night Fraps. I'm Chris Brock, Supervisor, and today is our off week, so now we're going to be doing war battles. So, before I show you what I'm going to be battling, guys, I just want to say that my day was Thursday, but me and Whore Boy 101 switch days. So, my primary day now will be Wednesday, and his will be Thursday. So, if you're a fan of his videos, expect his videos to be on Thursday, and if you're a fan of my videos, my videos will now be on Wednesday. And also, just like the Jay Sloan said, um... We are looking for members, so if you are interested in joining, please leave a comment down below. Hit us up. Um, so, without further ado, I'll show you what I was going to battle. And that is Cockneys vs. Zombies versus Shaun of the Dead. But before I get down to this horror battle, I'm going to review the plots briefly. Uh, you know, for Cockneys vs. Zombies, is it is about these two brothers, Andy and Terry. Um, pretty much their father's retirement, or not their father, but the grandfather's retirement home is getting shut down. So um, they gather up all these people that they know, and uh, they make a plan to rob a bank. Uh, it does seem really far-fetched to keep somebody's retirement home. Uh, but, yeah, they, they rob this bank. They get their cousin to come along, Katie, or Kate, whichever one she said in the film. I cannot remember. Um... Pretty much they bring this guy, uh, Mikey, along, and he is crazy. He's just African-American. He has this huge shotgun. Um, and it's just really funny because he has this metal plate in his head. He just goes around headbutting people. And uh, pretty much he's the one that blows everything out of proportion. He's the one who, you know, shoots the guns because they, they didn't want to, you know, have no gunfire. They just wanted that for show. But, no, he, he goes around shooting. He's crazy. I remember uh, one part, uh, you know, when they're, they are robbing the bank, you know, he kicks down the door, and there's, uh, you know, cops outside, and he's like, suck my chocolate stick, boom, and just shoots. <laughs> uh, he's just really crazy, he blows things out of proportion. Uh, you know, they grab hostages, they kick down the door, and guess what? Nobody's outside. The zombie apocalypse has happened. So, pretty much, it is about two brothers wanting to, um, you know, rob a bank so they can, uh, you know, basically so they can help their grandfather out, so they, uh, you know, their grandfather can keep his retirement home. But... The zombie apocalypse happens. So that's pretty much the plot of Cockneys vs. Zombies. So what Shaun of the Dead is about, it is about Shaun. Um, pretty much he is an electronics uh, or electronics store employee. Uh, his, you know, his younger workers show absolutely no respect towards him. He has a, you know, just a struggling relationship with his stepdad and also a pretty tense relationship with his housemate Peter. Uh, because he's always defending uh, Ed. He's always defending Ed. Ed is just lazy. He, he don't have a job. He don't bring any money to, you know, contribute to, you know, paying the rent or nothing like that. You know, his girlfriend just wants to spend time with them. They never spend time together because, you know, Sean and Ed, they're always together, you know, doing stuff. They're mostly at the pub, <laughs> which uh, she absolutely hates the pub. Uh, so pretty much uh, that leads towards, um, you know, they make a, you know, she tells Sean to uh, book uh, a reservation at the fine, one of the finest restaurants in England, and he doesn't. He forgets, and that's pretty much the last straw. Him and his girlfriend break up, and the zombie apocalypse happens. So that's pretty much a basic plot of Sean of the Dead. I summed it up the best I could. Uh, so yeah, guys, let's start the horror bath. So round one is which film had better kills? Um, well, I can sum it up this way. Shaun of the Dead, uh, they have, uh, you know, blunt weapons. Uh, they kill them with blunt force trauma, basically. Um, I do not think they get a gun in the film until uh, towards the end. Uh, with this one, they have, you know, <laughs> M16s, AK-47s. They have shotguns. They have grenades. Um, so they have some firepower in this one. With this one, you have um, just basic kills, which uh, this one has basic kills as well. Um... I don't know, they both had really good kills, but uh, this one had CGI at some times. Uh, just uh, very rarely, rarely did I see the CGI that they had in this film. Um, they both had good kills, it's so hard to choose. Um, I'm just going to go with Shaun of the Dead. Um, I really like the kills in both films, but I'm just going to give Shaun of the Dead the point on this one because they didn't use any CGI. So, one... Zero. Let's get down to round two, guys. So round two is which film had a better storyline? Um, so with this one, you try to rob a bank and the zombie apocalypse happens. And this one, um, you know, you try to be a good friend and your girlfriend dumps you and then the zombie apocalypse happens. So I don't really see, you know, any or I don't see, you know, one storyline, you know, being better than the other. I think they're both on equal playing fields. 
So I'm gonna give both films a point. So round two is a tie. Two, one. So round three is which film had better acting? Um, well, I can safely say that both films had good acting. Uh, this one had pretty surprisingly good acting. Uh, you have Michelle Ryan, who's in this, which she does a really good job. Um, she's actually really awesome. She kills a lot of zombies. You have these elderly people who are, some of them are pretty funny. Some of them kind of fall f uh, flat on their face with their humor. Um, I really can't single out a bad actor in this one. I mean, it's not Oscar-worthy acting, but it's a good, you know, good performance for, you know, a zombie film. Uh, the same with this one. Uh, the acting, you know, you have Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, which I love, you know, when they do movies together. Um, they did Hot Fuzz, which a lot of people hated, but I, I really like that one. Um, to be honest, I think they both have good acting, but you cannot beat the chemistry that Simon Pegg and Nick Frost have. So round three will go to Shaun of the Dead. So three, one. So round four is which one had a better killer? So basically which zombies looked better? Um, well, they both had really good zombie effects. Uh, they look like zombies. They move like zombies. Uh, I love how uh, in both of these films they do not run. I mean, I don't hate running zombies because I actually do like the Dawn of the Dead remake. But I like the slow moving zombies because it's kind of like a... Um, homage to, you know, the George A. Romero films, which I absolutely love. Um, the zombies look good in this film, but I'm going to have to give it to Shaun of the Dead. They just, overall, they looked better. Um, not much to say. Uh, just Shaun of the Dead ruins this round. So, four, one. So, round five is, which is a better overall horror film, or in this case, which is a better overall zombie comedy? Shaun of the Dead, guys, hands down, it is uh, considered a modern day classic in a lot of people's eyes, and I could probably buy into that. It's a great, you know, zombie comedy film. Uh, the chemistry that Simon Pegg and Nick Frost have is just, it's great. You, you can tell they are really friends in real life. Uh, the jokes never get old for me. I can watch this over and over again. Uh, just really enjoy Shaun of the Dead. I can't say too much about it. Just go watch it if you haven't. You'll probably enjoy it. Uh, but, I want to talk about Cockneys vs. Zombies. It's not a bad film. Um, I expected, I didn't expect as much as I got from this film. Like, you know, a film in 2012 you think would be full of CGI zombies. No, uh, it was actually, uh, there's one CGI part. Um, it didn't affect the film uh, in any way, shape, or form. I just, I could tell that it was CGI. But other than that, I mean, you get a lot of uh, action in this. I wasn't expecting as much as I got. Um, it's still a pretty decent film. I'd say check it out. I mean, $10 isn't too bad. Uh, you get a slip cover and you get some special features. So, I'd say check this one out as well. But definitely check out Shaun of the Dead first. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you can, please leave a like. And, uh, yeah, what do you think of my horror battle? Uh, which film do you like better? And also, stay tuned for Little Rocker Key or Horror Boy 101's video and Little Rocker Cutie's video. And I'll leave the Facebook link and the website link down below. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.